Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. I can sum up this game simply. You don't just walk into Jim Wacker Field at Bobcat Stadium in San Mateo, Texas, and stroll out with a victory. Those victories, my friend, must be earned, and somebody will earn a win today in a huge game as we close in on kickoff. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. Field at Bobcat Stadium here in San Marcos. In 2002, the football field was renamed Jim Wacker Field at Bobcat Stadium in honor of the former Texas State University football coach and director of athletics. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calorie. Enjoy everything. Teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 24-yard line. Texas State's a team and a program that year in, year out, has got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line, and, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact they can throw the ball. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage, it's a great time to really open up and, and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. Second and seven. Ball on the 27-yard line. Oh, on the handoff. Nice run there. Oh, gains around six yards on the run. job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. Wilcox is back deep to return the punt. He's taken down at the 47. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Throws it in a hurry. He's knocked out of bounds at the 47-yard line. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. side and he's tackled after positive yardage they should continue to run the ball if they keep this up the defense will wear down very quickly
Morocco around the 33 yard line. That's a deep nine on the play. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Just throws this one away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Two-yard line. They might have been able to catch the defense off guard with a play-action pass there, but by going to the ground, they didn't have much of an open. So it's fourth down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. This to try to put his team up by a field goal. The kick is away. It's long enough, and he nails the long field goal. Let's get out of the field for the official call. Offside. Defense. defense. The is declined. Declined. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. He's out to the 30. He's tackled at the 44. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. Clipping. Receiving team. That's all you got, oh. Still, Still first, first down. down. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. They'll bring him down around the eight-yard line. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. Second and 14. Ball on their own eight. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Passes it to the middle of the field, and he's taken down around the 14-yard line. Jensen picks up six yards with that grab. It's third down, eight to go. Ball on the 14. Ready! Caught, and he's hit immediately. That's good for a game of two yards. That'll bring up four and five. Moore is the punter. It's a short kick. Just about ready to call the first play of this drive. They were able to pick up a field goal on their last possession. Now he's scrambling. Second down, 12 to go. Ball on 34. Set, check, check. Stand right. Strike to his receiver, no good. And 
body hits him hard at the 49-yard line. You know, having a playmaker at tight end makes those linebackers think twice before they make a move. That could be just enough time for the quarterback. It's first and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. Passes left, gets it out to the halfback. Tackle made at the 41. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. And they make the stop around the 44-yard line. Good, solid defense there to force them into a fourth down situation. Wheeler is waiting for the snap. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. You know, a lot of people in college football might find these types of games boring, but you look at the start of this game, this is good old-fashioned football, partner. I agree with you, Brad. I think sometimes you look at games, and if it's sloppy offense, that's one thing. But when you see two defenses go out and play with a great deal of emotion and dominate a football game, sign me up for that every time. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 25-yard line. Let's go! Red AD! Quick throw out to the receiver. Drop down around the 40-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. He's taken down around the 42-yard line. It's second and eight. Ball on their own 42. Quick strike to the receiver. Knocked out of bounds at the 43. at the 20. What a play, and that'll set up a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. First and goal from the two, and they can smell the end zone. Outside the goal line. That's, That's good, good for a gain of one yard. yard. That brings him second and goal. goal. Yeah. 
Not a lot of offense in quarter number one, but nonetheless, we've got a close game. The Pirates with a three-point lead. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Touchdown, Bobcats. And he tacks on the extra point. A seven-play, 80-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Wilcox from the two. Across midfield. He goes down at the 40. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Play fake and looking to run. And he's sacked. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. From the 42-yard line, second down. He's tackled at the 34. Richardson in the tackle at the 34 yard line. That'll bring up 34. a great tackle at the 40-yard line. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. Young is back deep to return. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Texas State is up by four. He's to the 40. At the 30. To the 20. First and goal coming up. He's knocked out after a big game. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Is out and the ball is up for grabs. The defense falls on it. That's a pretty big mistake, and this offense will lose possession of the football. Sloppy job by the ball carrier. First and foremost, you should always be concerned about the ball. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Quick throw, tackle at the 31, and a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man.
from their own 31-yard line. First down. And he is drilled at the 44-yard line. Campbell with the tackle at the 44-yard line. First down. Man left, man left. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. That's a that brings us second and nine. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 45-yard line. and he dropped it. You know, Brad, the defensive coordinator does a nice job with the coverage call here. Everybody's in position to be able to make the play. The only problem is they didn't intercept the football. That's something that uh, they got to be happy with the coverage but not happy with the result. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. Fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. Hayes was the intended target on the play. And that'll bring up a punting situation. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. They'll bring him down at the 22. Paul's play so far in this first half, I think exactly what the coaches were looking for. Kirk, we talked to him this week, and they said, hey, he's our guy. We have to ride him as far as we can. Yeah, they put together a plan. The defense knew that they were going to come in with this plan. It's one thing to try to prep as a defense to try to stop it. It's another thing to actually go out there and do it. So, so far, so good for this offense and this star running back. And it'll be interesting to see if the defense makes adjustments in the second half, how they hope to stop it. It's second and 11. Ball on their own 21. Texas State holds a four-point lead. He's got it with room to run. He's tackled at the 35. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. again looking for the corner and they get nice yardage on that run that brings them second and five. from their own 40 yard line it's second down ready got his receiver dropped it incomplete Jones is intended to see on the play that'll make it 35 Taken down immediately. That's good for a gain of four yards. That'll bring up fourth and one. The Bobcats wide out had to leave the field with that injury. And we don't want to speculate on how bad it is, but the word we're getting from the locker room is no more football today. And he muffed it. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Texas State is up four. Quick strike, and he drops it. And a great job that time on defense. Good job here, but let me tell you something. That wideout was left out to try that time. From the 35-yard line, second down. And 
and he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. The sophomore just stuck it to the ball carrier right there. That's a very good tackle. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. They'll bring him down at the 25. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Second and four. Based on their last visit to the red zone, I'd expect them to take better care of the ball this time around. Gets to about the 17 yard line. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. The ball, the ball, the ball. Here we go. Pitch out to the right and tackle behind the line. No game on the way. Texas State is up by four. He gets it up, and he missed it to the right. This offense lost the ball by way of a fumble the last time they had it. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. Quick throw, and he's taken down around the 35-yard line. The offense was pretty successful on that play there. That was a very good passing play to get the ball downfield for a very nice gain and a first down. From their own 35-yard line, first down. They come out in a five-wide set. Quick pass, and he's leveled at the 36-yard line. And he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Hey, watch the ball, watch the ball. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. And he tackles him hard at the 29-yard line. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. They'll run it. Tackle made at the 29. The Bobcats taking their first time out of the half. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. Harris, back to return it. He's tackled at the 36. Their kicker missed the field goal attempt the last time this offense had it. Let's see what happens this time around. Anytime you have a shot at putting points on the board and you don't get it, you get a little frustrated. But this offense is very capable of scoring at any time. 
We've still got a half of football remaining. Texas State's up by four. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. One thing has been apparent in this first half that we just saw. Both defensive coordinators a step ahead of their counterparts on offense. They've had the answer for every formation, every shift, every movement, every motion that they've tried to come up with. So to try to break free and get something moving on offense, might it be time to show a little trickeration? A little trickeration never hurt nobody. I mean, it's it's something that if you keep doing what you've been doing, you're going to keep getting what you've been getting. And you got to find a way to do something a little bit different because it wasn't working. Let's find some new plays in that book. Let's, let's run a little bit of option. Let's run some reverse. Let's run some double passes. How about we bring a blitz with everybody? Just don't even cover anybody. Just bring everybody. Bring the house. You know, try to do something a little bit out of the ordinary. Try to get a spark going for your ball club. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some asher turf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. From his own goal line. Gets to about the 24-yard line. The Bobcats continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Phillips gets a carry right side. He's taken down around the 24-yard line. Second and nine. Ball on the 24. him hard at the 18 yard line. He delivers. And they make the stop at the 47. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Mike 40, Mike 40. And down he goes at the 50. stuffed immediately. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. Brought down at the 32-yard line. Number 22 makes the tackle. That makes it first and 10. Three down, three down. Mike 51, Mike 51. Ready! Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Gaining five on the way. That'll make 
get second and four. Here's the eighth play of the series. Nice run there. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. First and ten. Ball on the 21. They give to the tailback. He fights forward to about the 19. That makes it second and eight. Tenth play of the drive. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. So far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third down. Gets it out in a hurry. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Collins breaks up the pass. That makes it fourth and eight. The kick is up, and it sails through the uprights. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. Updating what's going on in Auburn. And for Arkansas State, they've lost two in a row. And for Mitchell, he grabbed a couple of scoring tosses. Auburn gets it done and wins it by 12. 7-6 in our game here. Wheeler has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Harris builds it at the three. He's got the corner. Knocked out of bounds at about the 33-yard line. So we're just about ready to return to action. Texas State is up one. He makes his way to about the 42. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Tackle right around the 40. Call it a loss of two yards on the play. That makes it third and three. In the shotgun and five wideouts. And he's tackled right around the 50. And a nice pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz. And the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. From the 50, it's first down. what the defensive back coach likes to see. His kids reacting when the ball is in the air and then making the play. And they'll run him again. Heading for the corner. Runs outside for a nice game. Call it a game of six yards. That'll bring up third and four. So we're looking at another third down here. Let's go, fly to the ball. Let's hustle up. 
Texas State with a one-point lead. Fires it out. He's tackled right around the 18-yard line. Way to the 10-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Let's go! He gets out to about the nine-yard line. That'll make it third and one. It's the ninth play of the drive. Key 15, key 15. That's a slant. Cut! 395! And he carries the ball for a nice game. That makes it first and goal. First down. They've got four cracks at him inside the five. It's first and goal. They line up in the jumbo set. And he has it on the corner. Touchdown, Bobcats. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So a 10-play, 67-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. The score now, 14-6. Sam gets set to kick this one away. He'll return it from the four-yard line. Across the 30. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 45-yard line. You know, this offense is doing a pretty good job moving the football. The problem is they're not coming up with touchdowns. The offensive coordinator who's been up here next to us, Brad, the booth next to us, he's actually just taken off his headsets. And I think he's going down to the field to be next to the quarterback and the rest of this offense to try to engage with them to realize how important it is to finish these drives. Strike to his receiver, no good. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. Here we go. Three, nine, five. Three, nine, five. He's under pressure. And a quick throw. The 10. And he will score. Nicely designed play to the wide receiver, and it got him six. You said it, Brad, and a good time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. And the secondary didn't quite seem alert enough to defend that pass. Here we go. They'll try to tie it up right here with a two-point conversion. And they won't get the two. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. We keep your finger on the pulse of the top 10. And for South Carolina, they're looking to win two in a row. South Carolina on top, 10-3. And we thank you, Reese Davis. Back to the action here. Wheeler is lined up to kick this one off. From the five-yard line, at the 30. He's knocked out of bounds at the 38. And both offenses here in the third quarter have been on fire. Time for the defense to step to the forefront. It makes you wonder which of these defenses has the ability to come up and make a stop. It could be one of those games where whichever defense comes up with that stop could be the team that wins the game. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. 
Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. Second and long. Ball on the 33. Texas State holds just a two-point lead. He's out of bounds around the 46-yard line. He can't get back to the line of scrimmage. Moore awaits the snap. He's taken down at the 31-yard line. So at the end of three, Texas State in front, 14 to 12. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Gives it off, and he's taken down at the 31. from their own 31-yard line. It's second down. Caught it, but they're gonna lose yards. He was tackled immediately. Taken back a yard. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. pressure finds his man first down they'll bring him down at about the 49 21 yards first down from the 49 yard line first down tackle made right around midfield the defense needs to be careful. Safety might have made that play, but if he keeps coming up on the run, he'll be spaced downfield for the pass. And he's level at the 42-yard line. Well, they've converted one third down play on this drive, but now they're faced with a third and long. Throws it. Almost picked off. Harris, back deep to return. And he muffed it. And he's taken down at the 21-yard line.
you know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Texas State is up two. He's out to the 30, and he is drilled at the 32. From their own 32-yard line, it's first down. Makes it to the 41. That brings up second and one. And they push him out around the 50 yard line. First and 10, ball on the 50. Taken down around the 33 yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. This one's going deep to the end zone. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Jones was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 33. Texas State with a two-point advantage. And they make the stop at the 30-yard line. Call it a gain of three yards. Third down. Third down, and they need to get it to the 23. They come out in a five-wide set. Pressure coming. There's a strike complete. He's down. So they're going to try and determine exactly where the ball was when he went down. So the booth is trying to determine exactly where they'll spot the ball. After, after review of the play, play the, ruling the ruling on the, on the field, field is reversed. reversed. So after review, they decide that this call should be reversed. From the 22-yard line, first down. Ready, ready, He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. That's a game of two on the play. That'll, That'll make, make it second, second and seven. This is the ninth play of this drive. Texas State holds just a two-point lead. And down he goes, right around the 12-yard line. From the 12 yard line. First down. And they get nice 
yardage on that run. This is the 11th play of this drive. Two yards on the run. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. And they'll bring in the goal line set for this one. Touchdown, Bobcats. Big extra point here. It'll put him up by two scores. And he tacks on the extra point. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Bulldogs enter today's game ranked second in the nation and knowing that they have a target on their back. Let's take yet another peek at this game. And for Georgia, they're looking to win two in a row. Osborne's a wide receiver's coach's dream with those Velcro hands of his. He scored a touchdown. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. Sam has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20, and down he goes at the 23-yard line. For Texas State, they've been bringing the heat, and they've gotten to him on several occasions. This defense has been bringing the blitz and is having success getting to him. They also have that one takeaway. This offense's best bet seems to be to keep the ball on the ground. No, they haven't. So maybe they should just focus a bit more on the running game to mix it up and keep the defense guessing. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Nelson was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. We have two minutes left to play in this game. Just under two to go in the game. He goes out of bounds at the 30. That's a game of seven on the play. That makes it third and three. Over the middle to his tailback. Brought down the 39-yard line. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Here comes the pressure. Swings it out there incomplete. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. Throws it deep. Close to being intercepted. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. These tackles hit the 45. Oh, 
Pretty good looking touchdown drive the last time these guys were out there. Just under two minutes in the game. Tackle at the 42. The back gets three on the carry. He was playing the run all the way and was able to stop him quickly. Good job by that senior safety. From the 42-yard line, it's second down. They come out on an empty backfield. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. One thing the coaches always say about this sophomore is that he has great lateral movement. That lets him move well behind this defensive line and get after a lot of plays in the running game. So the halfback gets the first down there with a five-yard carry. Well, the important thing is they were able to pick up the first down. And they're really starting to show how much they're relying on this halfback to do all of the work. And right now, he's looking pretty good. First and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. Quarterback takes a knee, and that's always a good sign if you're a fan of this team. It's third down, 14 to go. Ball on the 38. lining up in a victory formation and he takes a knee. Texas State staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for them and they couldn't be happy. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.